All right, so I've got a 2013 Ford Fusion Energy. Uh, it's the plug-in hybrid. So I've got the uh, charge door out here. And um, I've been clearing uh, high voltage battery codes for a little while. I keep getting a um, battery balance error code for uh, module L um, and now this time I've gotten a um, fault code for um, module A Oops. come on anyway um, so there's two codes here there's the um, battery energy control module reporting the uh, battery A voltage unstable, which uh, that's a new one. I hadn't seen that one until today. And um, usually, well, always concurrent, um, you know, at the same time as uh, this battery energy control module codes, there's always a load shed control uh, code that comes up. But sometimes you won't get the uh, check engine light on, but you'll um, You'll get a message over here that says uh, battery electric um, not available right now and then the wrench the wrench here pops up and um, it it doesn't seem totally abnormal but it just it just says um, EV now not available um, anyways it keeps driving around and it'll do um, hybrid only mode like when you come to a stop but once that check engine light comes on then the engine just runs all the time so you can probably hear the engine running um right now and it just i'm just sitting here in park and um it says engine on due to normal operation but it's been determined that that is a lie uh because we've got that check engine light on and uh, the check engine light is on because of this code. Sometimes you'll get this code, no check engine light, and it'll still let you um, use the, the hybrid system on the car. The car will still run and drive around right now, um, but really I need to um, open up the high voltage battery pack and um, take a close look at uh, module A and uh, module L. So let's see if I can... Uh, let's see, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted that one. Um, so I'm going to find the freeze frame data. Show that off. Um, probably gonna find battery modules on eBay. Um, you have to be careful about which ones you find uh, because they've got Ford Fusion hybrid um, cells and then there's Ford Fusion hybrid energy cells and the, the energy cells for the plug-in electric um, fusion is different so the um, the energy cells are like fat um, and they've got more um, you know there's, there's more of them I think or maybe there's just as many of them but they're they're way fatter and you have to get the fat ones for the energy and you have to get the skinny ones for the uh, just regular hybrid uh, so anyway here's the freeze frame data um, let's see here's my current mileage um, this is saying that um, when the fault happened um, the battery electric control module uh, or sorry battery energy control module was getting 14.75 volts which is normal uh, it was kind of cold in the car. Um, it's December, 
So uh, I was going up a hill and uh, I was going about 24.23 miles an hour. Um, the engine was off, so the RPM there is zero. Um, the battery current uh, in amps, it was putting out 21.3 amps. Um, the HV battery was running at 291 volts, which uh, it's, seems a little low. I thought it was supposed to be more around 300, but close enough. Um, hybrid battery stayed charged, 37%. Again, the um, voltage supply, 14. Battery temperature, 44. Uh, let's see. Here's the big one, the the hybrid battery hybrid battery variation in state of charge between battery modules, 17.3%. Uh, that's getting to be quite a bit of variation in the state of charge. So um, I don't remember exactly how many modules are in the uh, high voltage battery pack of this car. I'll be able to tell you once I pull it out of the back and tear it down. Um, let's see. Uh, hybrid battery average, battery module voltage, average is 3.4. The lowest one, the minimum, is 2.8. So there's some uh, modules in there that are low. 2.8 volts is, uh, that's a little ways off or quite a ways off, I should say. Um, so the difference between the highest module and the lowest module is 0.7 volts. That, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, it's a lot. It's, you know, 17%. Um, or, let's see, I guess I don't know which, um, which ones they're comparing to get that number, but uh, 2.8 volts, that's that's too low. Uh, let's see, temperatures, the battery age in months. It's a 2013, so it's, it's getting old. And then, uh, I don't really care too much about those. IFC, internal module fail code 71. I don't know what that means, but... The important stuff is right in here. Mostly that one, the variation, and then the minimum versus the average. Uh, it's no bueno. So I'll be uh, pulling the pack because I've been clearing these codes for, I don't know, well, most recently a week because I just repaired the transmission, which the bearings were going bad in the transmission. Um, now the transmission's fine, but before I even did the transmission, I knew I was having issues with the, uh, high voltage pack as well. Um, but now it's going to have to come out. It's back there behind the, those rear seats. So I guess we'll, uh, I'll make another video after I get it torn down and measure voltage, so talk to you then.